bounce away. And Viking, before Shad gets that Desolator up, their, their building damage is pretty lacking, right? Okay. Hanskin doing. Blocking up camps. And blocking the pull camp. Celery will get a lot of damage here. Missile stun into a couple of hits. Force that Phoenix away. Top lane, Nico Baby dragging the wave around. Going to aggro the range creep, unfortunately. What's he up to? <laughs> a little range creep following the bane. The lane equilibrium reset. Well, due to the fact that Toby did drag that dire wave back behind his tier one. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Man, 8 2 for Limp in that mid spot. Boomer's got to be so, so heavily regretting taking Boundless Strike level 1. Do you have two career snipes? 37 gold each times 5. That's 180 gold times 2. 360, easy 360, no scope for the team. <laughs> Beautiful maths. That's first blood though. Aramis might be trading back. No, Nico Baby doesn't get it. Yeah, FNG overstepping. Don't be angry. The lift back with the fade bolt. Close fort lane in that top spot. Pango getting a decent amount of farm there. Yeah, you said but Rubik is doing well. He wants to be able to use fade bolt on multiple targets, but he's also fine with just you know, Ooh. trading one hit against the Bane. Bane also does the same thing. So close to killing him. 30 is going to get trapped in between Hanskin and S4. White Spirit is one of the heroes who can, like, rush Aghanim Scepter straight away, and then there's nothing wrong about it. Like, having two charges, two seconds silence times two. Also, you get more physical damage reduction. What are you laughing Celery about, Gary? His... Celery's illusion just killed off S4's courier, like, as it was about to expire, behind the tier 1 bottom lane. Very well done. And now rotation in from the Venge mid. Limp has Dissimilate. With that, little remnant will catch him up. Very quick kill, and they might be able to get the Pango as well. If FNG can find... Toby just used Watchbuckle. Don cooldown, you're right. So Nico Baby pounces him up, and in comes Limp, looking for the double. Shadow Dance, not ready yet for Nico Baby. Doesn't really need it. Just gets the final touch and the first stack of permanent Angie is there. This is it. This is what you need. Like, give me that one. You know what triggers me the most in Dota when I'm playing like a carry? Experience. It does mean Boom is off the map now, so the, the fear that Monkey King's rotating into your lane is definitely a threat that Alliance have to consider. But the threat of Limp's rotation is something that Viking didn't see coming. Toby, Swashbuckle in four seconds. It looks like they've got enough damage to bring him down, and with that pounce, they most certainly will. Limp moving twice into the top lane and getting a number of kills now, really setting up Nico Baby for a wonderful game. The fight. Like, you have Venge position five. Who doesn't want to just, like, go in? You have the tools, but they're not the best ones. Man, they're hunting Toby relentlessly. S4 and Nico Baby coming down. Okay, Viking want to force a fight around this tier one. Nico Baby's under the tower in the trees. Celery's gonna stun him up. Dark Pact coming out now. He's got the Shadow Dance to play around with as well as he pounces out, but Limp jumps in. A little bit of a missed uh, timing or lack of communication, but Alliance, they do evade. The they have some stuns this game and you're just gonna lower the cool you know the cooldown of those stuns duration not cooldown but uh, back to the bottom lane yeah in comes dk yet again force the life stealer away viking they are going to react once more with multiple tps try and deal with s4 but that's sunray healing him up beautifully as the rolling thunder and wukong's command all these ultis used to kill off the dragonite but the tower still falls and alliance thinking about bailing away but they've brought numbers here they can still fight if they're able to catch any stragglers viking need to retreat as quickly as possible because limp is hunting and nico baby is ready to battle Rubik TPing to tier 2, Hanskin is cutting them off at the pass, and Nico is going to find two in the back lines here, aiming for Toby, switching to Shan, he's disarmed up, he's going to have to pop the shadow down as quickly as he can, 9 one shots ready, but in comes Lip, quickly, Astral step away, but Toby jumps in with a swashbuckle, and they've got the void spirit, the dissimulate might buy him a little bit of time, but they've got the fade bolt from the Rubik. 
Well played by Viking. Baiting them in to that tree line. I think Alliance were expecting them to have TP'd out maybe one or two heroes. And Boom continues to give chase onto that Phoenix who tried to sunway to the high ground. But very quick kills. Snappy and decisive from Viking as they gather some bounty runes as a little bonus for a great team fight. Definitely didn't expect Viking to take this good of a fight. I mean, if they use Wukong's command, Alliance is not just gonna run inside of it. Also, I wanna see Phoenix using ulti. I don't believe we've seen one Supernova so far. No, I don't believe we have. Oh, nice Understood. play from Aramis. Catches Slark mid-air, stops his pounce, and then steals it. Pounces away from any danger. Still hasn't died yet. A very good game. But Lifestealer Desolator is coming in, and this timing for Shad is going to hit like an absolute truck. Armlet Deso, he's got the Pangolier and the Monkey King to kind of infest and play with as that bomb of Lifestealer pops in front of your face. Deep Vision played by FNG behind the tower. TPs, they come fast, but the Rubik gets killed off much quicker than expected. Nightmare onto the Monkey King, FNG thinking about the grip. Fusal Blade to slow down the monkey, in comes the Pango with a Rolling Thunder, and they've gone a lot of damage in onto this Nuka Baby Slark, but the Sunray gives him the time to pop the Shadow Dance, Toby bouncing around in this fight, now the Wukong's from Boom, focusing onto S4, gets the Jingu stacks up, but the Fire Experience, the attack speed slow, he doesn't get the job done, they focus the Supernova, where they do bring down Hanskin, but at what cost, as Nico Baby has free reign of this fight now, healed up by that Sunray, and turns the battle, look for the Toby kill, Nico Baby gets the grab, five stacks are Angie up now, but Aramis, Returning to the battle and dragging back this Bane into the waiting arms of Shad, the Lifestealer is strong. Quick Nightmare drag back, but FN, wait, FNG TP? No, not gonna work for him. Very good position. Should be fine to get away from this one. Step to create a bit more of a gap, but here's the Roshan attempt from Viking, potentially. It's being pinged out, but they don't have any kind of Lifesteal, there's no Vlads. So they won't be full HP, and the Lions can take a fight inside the pit with the if the Phoenix ult. The Nightmare save? Is that enough? No, the chain stuns because of the lift, beautifully timed by Viking, and they'll get a freebie in FNG as well. Bane chase. And now down. go to Roche. Annihilated as Viking. Do they have another stun? Yeah, Venge stun is up. They've got the chain stuns, disable the Phoenix, and boom with the double kill. That's the fight they needed to open up Roshan. The timings were there, like they have very synchronized item timings, and that's very important in Dota. Helm now into Vlad's, he is invis and should scout out Toby on his way in. FNG starts with a nightmare and then, yeah, runs away. Quick swashbuckle forward, focus the Bane. Shad very easily takes him down, the Dragon Knight wants to stick around, they jump in with the lift, two man stomps up with the Agonims on that resonant pulse, Shad does get the rage off now, but Nico baby, man flirts into it with the Wukong's command of the Boundless Strike, potential here from Monkey King to turn the fight, Shad and Boom, they stand their ground, they focus down the Venge though, and Nico baby does get the kill, the BKB popped up and slay Aramis' Rubik, and now limp back in again with even more damage, they've got a supernova, very nice, Big Nova. should be able to stun down, no they're not defending it, they're just leaving the supernova to pop they had Life nothing armor toggle down his aegis i i think it's still fine for alliance to take this kind of a fight hanskin dies but they got the aegis off it's still they would still have it for like three and a half minutes and now nico baby can come back into a fight bouncing in and out and now finding toby swashbuckle with the vlad's lifesteal he doesn't have vlad's never mind i'm an idiot Rolling Thunder on them. Found the strike chain stun and another swashbuckle. Shad's killed up FNG, but it's the limp voice for it they desperately want. Red Vassal ticking in low. Monkey King caught by the Ether Remnant. So he will not be able to chase with that. Up onto the treetops. Very tight knit group. Phoenix, the only one elsewhere, heading top to defend that wave coming in. He does have an outpost to TP too. Oh, this is a good bait. Oh, no, not really. He showed the second illusion. Monkey King's gonna come and pop this smoke. Down kills a cat. Can Alliance find him? And a primal spring down to the low ground to jump in from S4. DK Dragon Tail, and there it is. Monkey King jumps into the waiting arms of Alliance, and that is a huge kill now as Slark runs forward, disarmed up by the Halberdon. 
gets out with a dog back. Still has Shadow Dance, but he's bashed. Nearly getting picked off as the Infest in. Pangolin, Swashbuckle in a There's the buyback. And take the Life Stealer out of danger, but Celery. Slain in the back lines by Nico Baby, while Limp dissimulating back out. Toby, great rolling thunder. And they know there's no BKB, no Shadow Dance, so they can focus down. Nico Baby has a slot down, and the majority of Alliance's net worth and damage is gone. Down the drain. Limp, chain stunned up yet again, and this Dragon Form Rubik. Annihilating the Void Spirit, forced to Astral step away, but they've got the gap closed from Monkey and the swashbuckling Pangolina to take down the third hero of Alliance and leave them with... All right, 35 seconds. Who cares, Roach, when they're going Tier 3 and Barracks? The buybacks are ready from Alliance and they force the Void Spirit one. Nico Baby's probably going to have... Fuck it, they're playing. Flying back with Limp here. Are they just going to buy back with Nico Baby and try and fight around this? They do, and they jump in, trying to pick off Shan, but the force down out. The same for the Infest, no. Silenced and killed as the BKB from Nico Baby, allowing to stand his ground and battle into Boom's Monkey King. Getting the essence shipped up and a great supernova. The buybacks do pay off. Expensive as they were, but defending the melee barracks and potentially giving them a chance to go into Roshan, which just respawned. That's a big throw from Viking. Monkey King bought back in the previous fight. They did not get the Aegis for him. Instead, they, they, they're just giving Alliance free game. Even though both Limp and Nico Baby bought back, they're gonna kill the Roche. Have that Aegis and Cheese for both of the cores, so they're gonna have two lives. Nico Baby is still hunting Aramis with the help of FNG. Hard to catch. The right hand side, spy by the legs. And away he goes. Oh, but Limp, he has the gap closed. Misses the Ether Remnant, but still has that dissimilate. Everything Aramis trying to do to get away comes to naught as his life is forfeit and S4 scouts out Roshan. Alpha Wolf in hand. Lions all going into the pit. The swing, the turnaround. There's no way they fight this. Monkey King is just dead for way too long. And they're also the ones who are controlling the vision. Viking, they have no observer wards on the map, if I see this correctly. It doesn't look like it. Celery has one in his inventory. Finishes off plants now. Aegis and cheese. Aegis for slot. Cheese for the void spirit. And Alliance, pretty happy. The game has turned, even with those buybacks. Another purple rune for him, not too bad. There's Arcane yet again. So Hanskin pretty much tasked with dealing with that wave coming in top. Needs to handle the catapults. Old TP to the outpost. He joined the squad as they try and get themselves a tier 2 mid. Carthy's coming in, they jump the life stealer, starts him up, catch him with a remnant, but I got swap back. Celery saves the day, and the Wukong's command coming into play, and they're gonna catch S4 down to half HP. The Dragon Knight annihilated by Viking in a very quick team fight with the Rolling Thunder taking out FNG. They're gonna stun him up, and Shad gives chase. A great Shivers Guard and Hanskin ready with a supernova if they want to continue fighting. Celery blown up as Nico Baby still holding on to BKB Shadow Dance with the Aegis. Complete free reign in that team fight. Three man the disarm. Jump forward from Viking continues. Disarm onto the Void Spirit, jumps into the back lines, trying to focus down the Rubik, but they are catching out the Nico Baby Slark. Doesn't get away, the Aegis expires as they do find his first life. And Limp struggling to kill off a Rubik all on his lonesome. And Nico Baby, oh, he's got nothing left in the tank. Does he pounces away? Does leash up the Pangolier? But Boom continues giving chase. The little bash, Dark packed it off, so the stun not coming. The boundless strike does land barely as he's midair, but Nico Baby is out of there. Yeah, put your ice frogs in chat. Man, he's such a hard hero to take down, especially at this point of the game, but they can get rid of the rest. Also, S4, like, he can't stand his ground because he does not have a BKB. This, this Helm of the Dominator really not paying off. It's a lot of gold. Seemingly, but not very much. 
Shan facing off against Nico Baby, but they've got the grip on the life steal, and Nico Baby focusing that single target as Lips, silencing three heroes in the back lines, and a great supernova. Hanskin, well placed, but they infest into the Rolling Thunder, bounce away, rolling out a danger. Toby saving the life stealer with a great little play, and now considering going back in, the Blink Dragon Tail, Rubik caught by the DK, the Wukong's Command comes out, and Slark, where are you? You're finding the Ventral Spirit, but you're not focusing the big targets. That's S4. He's trapped in between three, but the Nightmare saved from FNG. Finally brought down as Toby has a swashbuckle to get out of danger. Greaves up in about five seconds' time, but they've got themselves a turnaround onto Limp. Hanskin getting a double kill, though, and Limp is still not dead. I thought the Pango would maybe get the kill, but he's brought down as Lifestealer with Monkey King now left all on their lonesome. Alliance are in a 3v2, but they are afraid of what this Monkey and Lifestealer can do. That's a good question. Monkey so, King just so, keeping so it for himself right now. And sends it back. So, silence onto the life stealer. Eco baby. Okay, the swap from Celery will help out. Shad wants to fight though. Look at him just ripping apart this slot. Venge with the Prince's Knife. Projectile speed. Let's go. So, what, what, what attacks coming out? Fights for a little longer. Like they're focusing. Like it's a DK, and Viking just focus S4 so quickly. His dragon form lasts like five seconds in every fight. Oh, Toby in with the rolling thunder. Nice nightmare to buy a bit of time, but that telekinesis into magic missile clears through limp. Buyback available on the void spirit, but Toby just creating so much havoc. FNG is getting picked off by Boom. They're gonna dive in and a supernova on the high ground. Well placed by Hanskin, but two heroes down. Buyback forced on limp. Celery will fall at long last. And Nico baby, he disarmed. He can't fight, but. S4 battling in the Shan who turns and lifesteal back all that HP which he had lost and Nico Baby is now focusing to Toby's Pango boom on the runaway Viking they've been turned on oh can they turn this back Nico Baby's dodging and diving back with full HP he's removed that monkey can use force and buy back once more and Shan he's trapped in between four heroes goes for the TP do they have a stun nothing comes well limp chasing Aramis who glimmer kicks back out of danger this game is so back and forth, Gary. Like, one minute, Viking is just winning. Then, uh, two minutes after, Alliance are in control of this game. Roche may respawn in five seconds. Let's see how fast it's gonna be. They have no buybacks. Pangolier, no Rubik. No Rubik. And life's like, no, no one has buyback in this game apart from Benjamin Slark. So a tier 2 mid for Alliance. Shan very fast on respawn as Hanskin clears out that top wave. Yet again, it's his job just to deal with the creep waves coming in. Go baby. Has Rapier queued up. Feeling like he's lacking a little bit in the damage department. We, we saw how well Shad can, you know, turn from half HP back up to full with Open Wound Satanic Feast. Aghanim Scepter on Roche. Uh, Roast going down pretty quickly. They want to smoke. Where is it? They have no smoke, but they want to contest this Roche. Can connect? Yes, Accident it does. Okay. Scan does connect. Viking are looking to contest, but S4, beautiful jump. They get the vision and they stop the Rolling Thunder. A nice supernova there in the back as well. Big Wukong's command. Massive circle around the fight, but they've already lost Celery, so no swap save. And Nico Baby can just stick around. Now Halberding back onto the life stealer with the help of S4. Toby's Rolling Thunder finally arriving in the battle, but Shad is down, and Boom, yet again trapped, and he's got no way to turn. Swap back, Celery saves the day. Boom, not with buyback, so they need to get the monkey away. Another swap, keeping Toby. Oh, he's still in play, but Nico Baby with a pounce down allows Hanskin to claim yet another life. That's a buyback from Lifestealer. He wants to go in. Bane couldn't get any good ultis off. They have such a nice heroes against Bane, but this fight, he got very good grip for almost full duration. And though, even with Pango dead for a whole minute, now they're pinging it out. Roshan, three and a half thousand HP. Back into the pit we go. Does, wait, does Hanskin have Agnims himself? Okay, he does. So Phoenix has full Ags done. Void Spirit already has one, of course, since like. I just give it to the dead and dread. Uh, maybe Slark wants to pick it up, but I would prefer to give it to Dragonite. Let's see who picks it up. It's gonna be a Dragonite. 
I think Celery is about to come and deward here, yeah, holding three orbs and three sentries. Slark. It's hard to maintain vision against the Slark. Has Ghost Scepter. And she comes Limpo. Magic damage galore and bench down for a minute and a half. So now Viking four versus five, Alliance can just group up. They know there's no buybacks. A new Eye of Scotty is so good against Monkey's Jingu. Life Slurs Feast, any kind of like life steal heal is gonna be reduced by 35%. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Here comes S4. Come on, pop the dragon form, let's go. Gonna awesome. heal up Nico baby, Aegis, and plenty of maneuverability on the Slark. Keep him on the front lines and don't fully commit to take down the tier three. As for with the Galaxy Brain plays, you don't need to buy a BKB if you have a feeling that you're gonna pick up a Minotaur Horn. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hello. Arapia time. Nico Baby's having it delivered now. And Alliance just very tentatively taking down this first lane of barracks. It feels like they could maybe have committed a little harder here and, you know, got two lanes pretty quickly. Bottom but they're Radiant's playing it safely, waiting for Viking to make any kind of slip up. Monkey King shoves out top wave, not getting involved Radiant's in any kind of base defense. There's the rapier up on Nico Baby, making short work of these structures. Forcing the disarm from Shad, and there's the jump in. Forced that back, and Toby forced to Rolling Thunder. Catches a couple, but this team fight isn't ideal in Viking. Yes, they'll be able to bring Nico Baby low, but he just dark packs, and he'll be full HP in a second. So no Rolling Thunder for the next fight. And now Big Daddy Dragon is gonna be taking care of the rest of the barracks. The Sarm. Man, Pango's getting so many of these lucky shot procs. It feels like it's 50%, not 70. Very long range on the Celery. Ethel Lens plus the cast range talent on Bane coming into play. I think that's now two full lanes of barracks for Alliance. They can come back and defend their top melee barracks. Extra 25. Wait, so down to like zero, 16, down to like zero, oh, the extra 25, yeah, like 17 go, seconds, probably. He turns and fights. Rolling Thunder doesn't do a damn thing, and now the silence, multi heroes hit by limp, and they're focusing down the monkey king, forced up under the high ground. Can they chase him down? Of course, the Dragon Knight flaps his wings over the little cliff top there, and they're going to rip Viking from limb to limb. Toby's caught up in the Aether Remnant. They don't have any reveal, but they've got the pounce in to catch and leash him up. Toby's still going to get shredded by Slark. The Dragon long range projectiles... Take the pango down, and there's no buyback here for Viking. Regeneration. A life stealer, no buyback on cooldown for a minute and 30 seconds. He does have enough money, but I think if he can get the courier out, this is do or die for them. Just buy that full abyssal blade. Many options left. Top tier three gone. Radiance top Did you say many options left or not many options left? Not many options left. Oh, okay, no I was like, left. many options left. Yeah, they can type either GG or GG. Well played. WP, and that's yeah. their option. <laughs> Oh, that's very nice. And then call the life stealer. Silence in the stuns. Sham. Yes, the Satanic off. Back to full HP. Supernova gonna get focused down now, but his rage is about to end. Toby rolls back into the fountain. Invest up. But Alliance are focusing buildings. Tier four taken down. The Aegis has got, of course, on Nico Baby, so the Rapier is exposed a little bit. But S4 and Lip are able to tank the front lines there. And Nico Baby, the Satanic, gets him back up to full HP while Shad. He's looking very tanky. That man fight not going amazingly for Nico, baby. But now he's got the essence shift stacked, and now Shad is running out of gas. Totally trying to do his best to disarm and get into the battle, but Alliance, five heroes strong, take them all down, and Viking call GG. Really back and forth game. You did not know who's gonna win. A lot of mistakes by both of these teams, but the Alliance prevails in the end. The spell casting was.